Hello dear students, let's look at the another topic which is a very important one that is synthesis of chloroquine. Now, this is the structure of chloroquine. From the name you can guess some structural feature present over here. The chloro here stands for the presence of chlorine while this queen stands for presence of this heterocyclic ring quinoline. This compound belongs to the therapeutic category of anti-malarial drugs. Its chemical class is 7-chloro-4-aminoquinoline. The mechanism of action of chloroquine involves its binding with the heme protein that is ferrous protopopyrin 9. This complex disrupt the membrane function of the parasitic cell that ultimately cause the cell lysis and the auto digestion of the parasitic cell. In this way this compound exhibits the anti-malarial action. As the name indicates this compound is used in treatment of various types of malaria. Now the important part is synthesis of this compound. The synthesis of chloroquine takes place in three parts. The first part is synthesis of 4,7-dichloroquinoline. The second part is synthesis of noaldiamine. That is nothing but chemically 4-amino-pentyl-diethylamine. And the last part will be the synthesis of the title compound chloroquine by the combination of 4,7-dichloroquinoline and noval diamine. Now let's look at the first part that is synthesis of 4,7-dichloroquinoline. The starting material for the 4,7-dichloroquinoline is metachloroaniline. Now this compound where the benzene ring is attached with amino group is called as aniline. This is the ortho position and this is the meta position. So it is called as metachloroaniline. Otherwise it is also called as 3-chloroaniline because this is position number 1, this is 2 and position number 3. So metachloroaniline is reacted with this compound which is the diethyl derivative of malonic acid in which on alpha carbon, this is the alpha carbon we have the presence of ethoxymethylin group. So this compound is called as diethyl ethoxymethylene and the name of the acidic portion malonic acid so it will become malonate. Now this ethyl malonate is the classical example of alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. This is the carbonyl group, this is the alpha carbon and this is the beta carbon. So on alpha and beta carbon we have a double bond so it is unsaturated and that's why it is called as alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. The amino group of aniline is the powerful nucleophile. When this reacted with this compound, the nucleophilic addition on this alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound takes place in such a way that the NH that is the nucleophilic group goes on to the beta carbon while the one of the proton on amino group goes on to the alpha carbon. So with this we have the formation of this compound here you can easily view that the amino group is added on this beta carbon and one of the proton goes to the alpha carbon. This compound then further undergoes the chemical reaction to release one ethanol molecule that is this ethoxy group and what this hydrogen will make up ethanol molecule which is removed out from here and thus a double bond is generated between this nitrogen and this carbon to give us this derivative.
Now this derivative then undergoes the cyclization in such a way that this ethoxy group that is this ethoxy group and this proton on the benzene ring which is alpha to the amino alpha to the nitrogen so this will make up the second ethanol molecule which is removed out from here and thus a cycle is formed between this carbon and this carbon to give us this derivative here you can easily see that the double the, the cyclization takes place between the carbon and this carbon which has the hydroxyl group now one important part is that this alpha carbon which bears the hydrogen this hydrogen then migrate on this oxygen as we have seen in the keto enol tautomerism so we have the generation of the in and the all portion over here that is the in and the all so in this way we have formation of this compound which is called as ethyl that is ethyl 7 chloro 4 hydroxy quinoline and this is portion number 3 carboxylate this carboxylate derivative is then undergoes reaction with dilute NaOH. It is a very familiar reaction whereby the ester on reaction with water molecule in presence of sodium hydroxide gives the formation of corresponding carboxylic acid. That is the conversion of ester into the carboxylic acid. So, here we get formation of this carboxylic acid derivative. This on heating at 200 to 250 degree centigrade undergoes decarboxylation that is the removal of this CO2 group from here. So decarboxylation takes place and this ultimately gives us the formation of 7 chloro 4 hydroxyquinoline derivative. Now this compound then is reacted with phosphorus oxychloride that is POCl3. The chlorine of phosphorus oxychloride attack on the carbon bearing the hydroxyl group. So it will brings out the nucleophilic substitution reaction. In this case it is nucleophilic aryl substitution reaction and it will lead to formation of our first part that is 4,7-dichloroquinoline. Next, move on to the second part that is synthesis of noval diamine. For synthesis of noval diamine, our starting material is this three membered ring epoxide which reacted with ethyl acetoacetate. The oxygen of epoxide being the nucleophile attack on this carbonyl carbon to bring the nucleophilic acyl substitution reaction. The substitution reaction takes place in such a way that this oxygen is then get attached over here and one of the carbon is gets attached on this alpha carbon. So with this we have the formation of a very important intermediate in this case this one which is called as 2-acetyl-butyrolactone. Now it is, this is the lactone portion and here we can find the presence of 4 carbons 1, 2, 3 and 4. So it is called as butyro and here is presence of COO it is called as lactone ring. So when this lactone is reacted with HBr that is hydrogen bromide this hydrogen gets attached on this alpha carbon while the bromine gets attached on this gamma carbon and with this we have release of this portion CO2 from here to give us the open chain compound in this case it is 5 bromo pentane 2 on 
clearly it is a ketone so for ketone we start numbering from this end 1 2 3 4 and 5 on fifth position we have a bromine so it is called as 5 bromo the carbon chain is of 5 carbons so it is pentane the doubly bonded oxygen is on position number 2 so it is 2 on so this ketone derivative then is reacted with diethyl amine now it is also the very familiar reaction this amino group then attack on this carbon to give the formation of this derivative again the reaction is nucleophilic substitution reaction in this case it is nucleophilic alkyl substitution reaction the hydrogen and this br will be removed out from here as hbr and with this we have formation of this ketone where on position number 5 we have the presence of diethyl amino group so this derivative is called as 5 that is position number 5 diethyl amino pentane 2 on this pentane 2 on derivative then is reacted with ammonia now here is the presence of c double bond o that is a ketone and ammonia so it is the nucleophilic addition reaction a very classical one this ketone is then converted into the corresponding imine that is c double bond nh the imine then is reduced in presence of hydrogen so when imine is reduced it is gets converted into ch and nh2 with this we have formation of this compound which is called as 4 amino pentyl diethyl amine clearly it is a diethyl amine here we have the presence of 5 carbon chain 1 2 3 4 and 5 so it is pentyl and on position number 4 we have the amino group so it will become 4 amino pentyl the remaining alkyl groups on this amino group are diethyl so it is diethyl amine a special name given to this compound is noval diamine so that is our second part synthesis of noval diamine now move on to the last part that is synthesis of chloroquine where our first starting material 47 dichloroquinoline react with our second part noval diamine clearly once again it is the nucleophilic aryl substitution reaction whereby this amino group attack on this carbon to bring the substitution reaction and thus one of the hydrogen and this cl will be removed out as hcl to give us formation of this titled compound that is all about synthesis of chloroquine thanks for watching the video please like it share it and don't forget to subscribe thank